Right, grade twelves. Here we are back again with Pat, and uh, Pat is <laughs> Pat has been very interesting thus far in phase one and two. Now we move on to phase three, the last phase. Okay, you can see from the rubric we have a report that we need to um, sort out there. What else do we need? What else do we need? It's mainly the report and the website. Okay, so we've got the report and the website that's it okay these are just four free marks because obviously you would have created everything by now so that's what's there okay so let me go to the top make sure all that is there and then we can look at an example um, of what a report should look like now please remember that your report is actually um your phase one working document which you've been know messing with all along you've been adding to it you've been editing it all these types of things so yeah we've got our cover page in fact let me go this way automatic page numbering headers and footers page breaks section breaks if you've used all of those things oh wait sorry let me, let me go to the top sorry um, cover page do we have a cover page with all this information yes we do okay they're not saying what it must look like as long as it's professional that's fine then um, do we have headings that stand out have we used uh, styles do we have different levels of headings um, let's see yes we've got headings there yes we've got headings there different styles of headings okay that's fine um, also looking at appropriate line and paragraph spacing consistent formatting so using the same type of fonts all the way through the body text is easily distinguished in other words it's easy to separate the body text from the heading and it's all um, left aligned or justified okay so i'm going to go through this from the beginning so like i said we've got our cover page then we come down here to our table of contents which has to be an automatic table of contents we've got our task definition that's got to be plus minus 300 words hmm. not sure how many this one's got <laughs> 138 words yeah <laughs> coming up a bit short there then we've got the focus question with the question there and the question has been answered as well discussion and analysis remember we had to have the heading findings and we were going to put a screenshot in there um, of what that should look like also you want to put um, your your captions in there right remember because that through that we are going to draw a table of figures from that and there you can see just some more um, evidence on those things here are some of the findings the learner has put through okay and then there is a, a conclusion as well so i'm just going to go through the document here you can see these are the tables of the questions that the learner had done with the level the category the source the bibliographical information um, we've got all of those things in there that is some of the stuff that you should have done in phase one already so by the time you get here, all of this is done. You are simply adding the last bits and pieces um, to this. So let me scroll down to the bottom. And there we have our bibliography as well. So let me just go back to the rubric. There you can see automatic page numbering. Does he have that? Did they check that out? No, there's none of that there. This is how you can check through your PET document to make sure that you've got everything you need to. Automatic table of contents hyperlinks, bookmarks, um, appropriate readable fonts, all of those things, folks. Check in the plagiarism, um, graphics. Do you have a table of figures? Do you have a table of diagrams? All those things. If you don't have that, you need to be checking this so that you know what to do. And then, obviously, your report introduction as well. And they mention what you need to have um, in that introduction. Then we look at just the last two things, I think, on the, on the report. And that's how it's been organized. What does it look like? Is the layout good? Do you have, also un, under your discussion and analysis, do you have three appropriate claims and arguments? Okay, do you have all those things there? And then do you have a conclusion present as well? So that's everything that you need for the report. And you can see the report um, is already 48 marks on its own right then we've got our website 
Okay, so our website is 487, 417, 20, yeah, 20, 20 marks for our website. So let's go and have a look at what this learner did. Website. And there you can see what we have. He's got a main heading, he's got his title, um, he's got a horizontal line, paragraphs, all these different things. He's got a table, he's also got a link. Ah, graphs. So that's fine. That's all things that work. So let's go and have a look at what the PAT document says. Is it saved as HTML? Does it have a home page? At least two other web pages. Is the style content suited to the audience? Yes, that's all fine, except the two. He's only got one. Um, is it an attractable, sorry, attractive <laughs> and usable layout? Related information grouped together. Yes, related information grouped together. Different elements. Yes, we see different elements there. Techniques such as lists, tables, tables over here. Um, and we've got our list if there was more than that. Okay, so that's fine. The graphics and accessibility. All graphics are relevant to the topic. There are no broken images. Right? None of them have like an alt tag. Okay, all of that is working. The navigation. Are they working hyperlinks? Yes, hyperlinks are meaningful in description. So in other words, this one says link to graphs. When I click on it, I see graphs. Okay, that's what they mean by that. Navigation system is consistently placed throughout the website. In other words, it's just telling you um, that your website needs to be easy to actually move through. So, um, for example, if I go to the bottom of the website, there should be a button that says something like back to the top. So a hyperlink that takes me back to the top of the actual uh, website. And then the website info, uh, the info from, does it have the info from the report? Does it demonstrate a good understanding of the information and is good language used? So if you have done all of that and you acknowledge in the correct format any text that you've taken from other sources, graphics that you've taken from other sources, and everything is clear and easy to locate as far as your citations um, are concerned, then you will be fine, grade 12s. And literally that is all you need. So there's our phase one. It's 32 marks um, for you know us having that uh, phase one, which is our, our document there. For processing the data and information, it's Excel. We're talking about our questionnaire and our Excel spreadsheet. Our um, report, in fact, this is our database and everything together. Our report is our document now at the end that gives us you know, the conclusion of everything. Um, our findings, all of that. The website is 22 and then four marks in general. We then get a market of 150, which would be converted to a market of 100. Okay, 12s. That is your pet. That's all you need to do to get these. I'm encouraging you to please give your absolute best to this as it is 25% of your year mark. Okay, don't throw this away. Don't mess with it. Do your best. And I wish you all of the best with your pet.